Lantas saudara bagaimana kepedulian Ben Chiki bersaudara asal Prancis untuk persoalan sampah di sungai-sungai yang ada di Bali termasuk di Jawa Timur? Kami bahas saudara bersama dengan Sam Ben Chiki, salah satu pendiri Sungai Watch. Good evening Sam, selamat malam. Selamat malam. Oke, okay. great. great to see you. So uh, Sam, we all want to know about how do you start the initiative of river cleaning project? What inspires you? Yeah, definitely. We have been living in Indonesia for the last 20 years. Um, berarti sekarang saya lebih orang Indonesia daripada orang Prancis. Um, <laughs> and we've really seen the rivers here in Indonesia get more and more polluted over the years. So we started Sungai Watch four years ago to stop this plastic from going into the ocean and hopefully, you know, bring this movement of clean rivers, not just across Bali, but really across Indonesia And that's why we expanded our efforts to Banyuwangi, and we're now bringing Sungai Watch to Surabaya and Bekasi later this year. Oke, okay, jadi uh, sejak empat tahun lalu dimulai dan kemudian uh, mulai membersihkan tidak hanya di Bali, di Surabaya, di Jakarta juga. Kira-kira begitu ya, uh, Sam? Ya, yeah, betul, betul. Oke, okay. so uh, ini kan pasti akan membutuhkan dana yang besar ya, Sam ya. It, it costs a lot, gitu. How do you uh, fund the initiative? Yeah, di, di awal itu semua aksi dari, dari sendiri. That the, you know, there was really no money involved. There was just us jumping in the river, cleaning it. Um, but obviously, you know, to really have impact, to scale river cleanups, um, plastik sekarang adalah salah satu acaman terbesar bagi laut kita hari ini. Berarti untuk bersihkan sungai, pasti harus ada banyak dana, harus ada banyak sponsor, berarti um, Sungai Watch adalah satu yayasan, and so we take sponsorships from you know everybody via our website, um, the regular public, but we also work with companies and corporates um, mm. and help us fund this work. Obviously, I think if we really want to see clean rivers in Indonesia, it will be you know millions and millions of dollars. It is a huge, huge problem, and therefore we're really trying to push you know, companies to participate, to get as much funds, as much support, mm. Uh, mm. because we don't just need to clean the rivers, but we need to make sure that the trash is properly sorted, but also that we create the best and better waste management infrastructure so that people actually have a solution. Okay, jadi Sam, uh, ini punya website dan uh, mendapat banyak sumbangan dari uh, masyarakat termasuk juga dari uh, perusahaan-perusahaan swasta. Do you work with uh, the government? Too? Yeah, we work very closely with the government. Um, you know, every time we install a river, a barrier in a river, we need a permit. So we always, you know, um, seek their help. We also work with them closely with manpower. So they always send some troops. I do think that we'd love to, you know, build our relationships with our government even further and find ways to collaborate. You know, we realize that funding may not be what the government might be able to give us, but they can give us so much more support, connections, um, introductions, and of course, how can we make sure that the government invests in the actual waste management infrastructure at the household level? Mm, That's so much where we're really focusing on, on the rivers. Okay, jadi... Uh... Uh, Sam dan juga Sungai Watch ini juga bekerja sama dengan uh, pemerintah meskipun mungkin dari pemerintah tidak memberikan pendanaan dalam bentuk uang misalnya tetapi juga ada infrastruktur dan juga uh, manusianya atau uh, orang yang uh, membantu dalam proyek ini. Uh, dan Sam, how do you manage the uh, plastic waste that you had collected? So dari setiap hari sekarang um, kami bersihkan lebih dari 300 sungai setiap hari. Um, dari semua sungai itu, we collect about uh, 300, uh, 3 to 4,000 kilos every single day. Um, that trash goes back to one of our 10 facilities, and we sort all that trash into 30 different materials so that we can understand what is polluting our rivers and really you know, work with communities on helping them live more sustainably. What types of plastic and materials can they try to avoid? as well as how can we make sure that every material we collect can properly be recycled. So oh. we launched um, a new company called Sungai Design to actually recycle some of the plastic we collect into furniture with the goal of hopefully selling the furniture to help fund back our cleanup efforts. Okay, jadi uh, 
ada program recycle ini juga yang karena ada uh, banyak sekali sampah-sampah yang dikumpulkan itu yang juga salah satu hal yang dilakukan oleh uh, Sungai Watch ini. So uh, Sam, I read that you work with a uh, hundred and fifty reverse warrior. You name it a uh, reverse warrior. Tell us about them. Sure, the our river warriors are really, you know, the people behind all the impact that we do. They're our heroes, and you know, they're jumping into rivers every day. They're sorting the four thousand kilos of trash that we collect on a daily basis. And at Sungai Watch, you know, we're really a community-driven organization. Without these river warriors, our work can never work, and we can never clean so many rivers. So we work with a network of local community members who we hire full-time. So one, our 150 staff at Sungai Watch are paid full-time, um, fair living wages. And we're really looking for you know the most, the most passionate people out there that believe that Indonesia's rivers can be clean again. Um, mm. And so we're now actively looking you know, for every time we expand, we're looking for this network mm. uh, of warriors. Okay. Jadi ada 150 uh, disebutnya sebagai river warriors gitu ya. Jadi uh, orang yang diajak bekerja sama dan tentu masih terus dibuka untuk Anda semua yang mungkin ingin bergabung dalam project ini. Any upcoming project? Yes, a few really exciting ones. Mm. I think we realize unfortunately that rivers in Indonesia are not just polluted in Bali and Banyuwangi, but really they're polluted everywhere. Um, especially in some of the most populated cities like Surabaya, Jakarta. Um, so we're actually bringing our work to those two big cities. We're expanding um, to Surabaya in just a few weeks. Um, and then to Bekasi, which is probably Indonesia's most polluted region um, later this year. So we're very, very excited to be expanding our work there, to be bringing our trash barriers, our sorting centers, and a network of river warriors mm. in both cities. Um, so if you're in Surabaya or Bekasi, please do reach out. Uh, okay. We're always looking for support and okay. hopefully can work with the communities over there. Oke, okay, jadi ada proyek mungkin dalam beberapa pekan ke depan ini di Surabaya dan juga nantinya akan di Jakarta ada apa uh, trash barrier itu yang akan dipasang di beberapa sungai yang ada di Surabaya dan Jakarta. Terima kasih Sam uh, Bencegib, uh, pendiri dari Sungai Watch yang sudah berbagi uh, inspirasi di Sapa Indonesia malam. Thank you uh, Sam. Thank you.